Welcome to Wichita Mountain Men. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. My name is Chase and I'll be teaching you how to just make a basic fire. So stay tuned. One of the most big things on fire is starting it. And to start it, a lot of people, after they gather their wood, they take the big pieces and, of course, chop it with their axe. But then they even get it finer. They take pieces like this, and they either do it with their axe, or I'm gonna use this knife. It's a uh, hand-forged knife. And they simply just split it a couple times. And this is a simple way um, to just split your wood because you can easily use sticks, but sticks don't light as well and they don't burn as good. All right, so once you have your stuffed baton, the next step to making your fire is to take one. You kind of want one with a corner. Look for a good one. And you make your feather sticks. All right, so the next step to lighting the fire, well, making a fire, is to light it. Before I light it, I wanna get my setup ready. There's so many different ways to starting a fire. Um, this is how I found what, how what fits me the best. So I first like to have my, my base stick. And this is the, the base stick. It, it helps hold everything up. And then I'm gonna take my thinner stuff and put it around here. And I'm making almost like a uh, little teepee Go goes right here and there's a little opening right here. Just continue with thin stuff. And I'm just gonna set it to where it goes over this, but not, but I'm still leaving it I want it to cover all right here and down, but I want it to leave like a little doorway because that's where I'm gonna put my flame. So I'm gonna take some of my feather sticks, just some of the small stuff, and stick it back in there. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna light it and bring it over. I'm gonna light the feather sticks. I'm gonna transfer it to the te teepee. And then on top of the teepee, I have my thin little stuff. 
and I have some more thin stuff to put on top of it. So I'm using this ferrocerium rod um, that I got from the more I light my fire. I have plenty other, but they're in one of my camps. So, let's see here. I'm trying to find the thin piece. So all, this, the ferrocerium rod, how it works, is you take the 90 degree spine, the 90 degree angle of your, the spine, on the spine of your knife, and you're scraping the ferrocerium rod off, and it creates sparks, which catches the thin stuff and creates fire. Start giving it a light blow once the flame starts getting bigger. Alright guys, so when you start a fire like that with it all chopped up, the, the wood burns a lot cleaner. It'll You'll have just clean ashes at the end. It's a lot better. Um, but yeah, so that's your basic how to start a fire. Um, so yeah, there are many, many different ways on how to start a fire and that's the way I like to do it and that way it gets the fire super hot um, and one thing I've learned the more wood you put on your fire the faster the woods gonna burn it will be a lot hotter but you'll go through your wood a lot faster so if you're just wanting to have a fire out be it slowly and don't be it that fast but that is a simple way to start a fire with a ferro rod and a paracerium rod and a knife. Um, again, it's just basic fire. Um, simple. That's just a basic, basic way on how to start them. And guys, I hope you go out and start a fire like this or a different way. Just get out and start a fire. Um, make sure where you do start your fire, you're allowed to um, by the city because there are fire laws. And then uh, just be safe, guys. I mean, no one wants their woods to be burned down, so just be safe on that. But, uh, yeah. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Please share to your friends. Please, please, please. And uh, if you like this content, subscribe for some more. Because you, if you subscribe, it'll help me make more videos, which will help you guys get more videos. So it help, if you subscribe, it helps me help, help you. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much again, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share, and comment down on your favorite adventure that you've had with fire, um, and comment down below on videos you'd like me to make, whether it's horse stuff, blacksmithing stuff, um, what you want me to blacksmith, different ways to start a fire, just uh, whatever it is, I'll try to do it. So. Please, please, please comment because it helps me know what y'all want to watch. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much again for clicking on this video. Um, and thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Till next time, stay in the woods.